All right, guys, welcome back. We're here this week for the best snapshot ever. So it's been worth the wait. And um, well, this one is called 14W18A. And we're going to go over it right now because I just can't wait. This is the best one ever. First of all, why is it best? It's because the slime blocks now act like a glue block or whatever you want to call it. So if I have a piston which is uh, attached to a slime block, I can just have it work just like normal, as always like this. But if I stick a block, any kind of block on a side, it will still work, push it, and it will still bring it back. So that's a really, really awesome feature. The only thing is, it only works with sticky pistons, of course. So even if the slime block is kind of sticky, it will not stick to a piston, if you know what I mean. So this is just a normal piston. It will push it. Woo, this is not good. So it will push it, but not bring it back. Not like this one here. So yeah, let's just keep going. So the maximum is still 12 blocks. So here we've got a tower of 12 slime blocks. And you can see it still works. And if I take this one here, which is... 13 blocks it doesn't work so maximum is still 12 blocks and by 12 blocks I mean 12 blocks in total so including all the other blocks around it so here we've got 11 no that's wrong so <laughs> never mind that we've got six slime blocks slick stone and um, as you can see it still works as long as it doesn't go over 12 blocks. That's really, really cool. All right, so any arrangement need to start. As long as it touches slime blocks, which at the base here touches the piston, it will still work, just like this one here. Doesn't matter what it looks like, how crazy it is, it still works, as long as it is in contact with the slime blocks. So that's a pretty, pretty cool feature. Here we go. Next. So obsidian still doesn't move just like that. You can see normal pistons and all that can't move obsidian blocks and so do the uh, slime blocks. They can't. And I believe that the command blocks will still not be able to be pushed. Let's just make a test. There we go. Uh, no, exactly. So it's the same thing as the obsidian block. Alright, next. It's useful to uh, transport current over a long distance. So just like a repeater is useful for that, you can also use a uh, 11 blocks long uh, slime blocks with the uh, redstone block at the end, which will just keep the current going. And here is an example. It's pretty fast, but it's not as fast as a repeater. Actually, it's pretty much the same thing. No, I think the repeater is faster. But when you want to turn it off for some sort of reason, it's faster to use the repeater, uh, piston. I mean, it's almost instantaneously. So here's the one again, once more. Here we go. And this one. There we go. All right. So next, we've got the thing that is also useful to transport current going up. So here's an example, I have this 11 long block, whatever, tower of slime block and then redstone block which will push this piston over. So in comparison, this, pretty instantaneous and um, it's pretty easy to build unless, unlike this one here, the little tower which also has a repeater on it because it's too long, it's, it's a pain in the butt to build and it's not even... Well, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's faster to use this, which is pretty cool. All right, next. So the thing is, when you go vertically, uh, horizontally, I mean, you have to remove the bottom layer. So, like I said, uh, slime blocks hack like glue. So if it's on a grass block, it will try to push the whole world. And, well, that's over 12 blocks, of course, so it doesn't work. Just... Oh, what's this with that? All right, so it doesn't work. There we go. And if you remove the bottom layer here, it will work like a charm. And you have to keep in mind that you have to 
leave one space in front of it because when it will be pushed now it's in contact and it will now try to retract the whole world and it will thank you thank you so much whatever it will just whatever you get the point you get the point it will retract just this never mind that's my bad if you go like this though this shouldn't work there we go all right all right never mind forget that okay so next well I've tried it it doesn't specify it in the uh, under wiki but I tried it and it's not compatible with redstone by that I mean that you can build something on it that will work but if you try pushing it everything just falls off which is kind of sad I would have liked to be able to build redstone thing that moves but whatever I guess it might come later or it might never come whatever we can live with it all right let's just push that back all right next oh whoops I think I've messed up with this yeah I did I already did all right so it act like a trampoline so if I just go on the piston block here and I stand on it and push it I I'm being pushed really really high well kind of high and if I go it again it's like a trampoline it's pretty cool pretty cool yeah that's it <laughs> one more thing it doesn't stick backward by that I mean that on the uh, slime block it will only stick all the faces on its on its side so if you put a block let's say here here and anywhere on the on the sides it will push it but it will not it's not sticky like at the back here so if I go like this it will still push everything up one but it will not retract the whole thing because it only sticks with the upper face here and not the bottom part of the block and um, that's kind of sad but I guess it allows for more complicated stuff so your contraptions that doesn't get like all mixed up this update is amazing so go ahead download it I just can't wait for the 1.8 snapshot uh, version so yes thanks for watching guys this is awesome like the video like it if you like the update thanks for watching again share the video and uh, besides that I hope you guys subscribe and have a good day.